Hello everyone, today I want to make a uh, quick video about stamps and uh, particularly uh, stamps from the U.S. Post Office that you can purchase on their website right now. These, I bought three different things that are co uh, collector editions that are on clearance that uh, are a, a really good price and when the, the U.S. Post Office sells uh, stamps at clearance for them it's at the face value of the stamps and so uh, Whenever I buy stamps these days, I don't just go to the post office and buy whatever they have. Uh, you can buy uh, whatever you want off of their website. Pay a dollar thirty for shipping, but they have a little of everything. And th these next three items were kind of difficult to find because they, uh, if you just go through their current stamps, they don't really show up anywhere. But if you dig through collectors' items, I was able to find these three items, and they're. They're all pretty small. They were all um, inexpensive. So this first one here is, uh, well, first of all, uh, my uh, mother-in-law was out of stamps, which is why I made this purchase, and uh, she likes JFK, so they still have some of the three-year-old JFK stamps on there, so I got her some of those. But it is uh, Stanley Cup playoff times, and uh, we've got a, the history of hockey in a stamp, and what I find interesting about this is uh, they are skating on a lake. This has two stamps. Uh, there's this one, um, which is has the player right side up, and then his reflection in the ice is this stamp right here. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting how they made that reflection. So it might be kind of kind of hard to see, but these are the same stickers that you would get with any other modern uh, stamp sheet and. Um, it just it comes with a kind of a nice card that goes around it. I, I just thought that one was kind of interesting. Uh, I like hockey. I bought a second one of these for my mother-in-law since so she likes hockey as well. We live in Nashville, so we are Predators fans. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. This one is a uh, a um, let's get it straight up here. This one is a Christmas stamp from. I believe about three or four years ago, and it might be easier to see the outline if you look above uh, the Santa hat there. You can kind of see the line of the sticker, but it comes in this nice, uh, I guess that's about a three by three card. And I was thinking for uh, Christmas this year, I bought about five of these. What I'm going to do is for uh, for some uh, people that really like the, uh, the packages that I send them, uh, I would just actually peel off the entire thing and, and stick it on the envelope. You just have to peel the one stamp, and so um, if you wanted to, because uh, that's what the regular stamp looked like if you bought uh, a book of them, but just uh, this is an old promotional Coca-Cola um, presentation, cause so you can see the Coke bottle there with the letter to Santa, written by Jimmy, that's uh, there on the mantle uh, above the fireplace, and uh, I just think I think that's a kind of a neat painting that they decided to use for their stamp, and uh, you wouldn't see the Coke bottle on a regular stamp, but um, I just thought that was kind of neat that they would do that. But this next one is the one that I'm really interested in. It is the Art of Magic, and uh, somehow I missed these when they first came out, and it looks just like there are three stamps here, but uh, so again, this was the cost of three stamps. You have to kind of yeah, search for it on their website, but... This was, I believe, the first stamp to use uh, lenticular printing, which is, if you collect baseball cards, think sport clicks on something like that. So as, as you look here, the rabbits appear to disappear out of the hat and, and pop up again. And uh, so uh, this was the first time that they did this uh, lenticular printing. Um, stamps. Uh, I, I just think that's a neat effect, and for it to go with magic, that's kind of cool. Uh, my brother was really into magic when he was a kid, so um, I don't think he's seen this yet, so when I send him a letter next time, which isn't that often, but when I do, I'm going to uh, put one of these stamps on it. And uh, same for his son as well. Uh, I believe the post office, in just in the next couple of weeks, is going to come out with another lenticular stamp of dinosaurs, and I think they have a T-Rex where if you look at it one way, the the um, it, it's just the, the the face of a dinosaur. But if you uh, tilt it, it's going to look like the the uh, dinosaur is uh, got its mouth wide open, like it's I don't know screaming. I uh, just thought that was kind of cool. So, like I said, all all of these uh, that was 
three stamps uh, cost, so 55 times three, I guess, is a dollar 65. Uh, the Santa was just 55 cents to get some of those, and then the hockey was a dollar 10 uh, to get that. And so, uh, just kind of a neat um, thing to kind of add to my collection. I don't collect stamps, but um, if you can find something that has interesting and, uh, and actually use them, uh, paying a dollar 30 for getting all the shift was not a, a bad deal at all to just pick something different that most people aren't going to have. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.